Homemade pizza. So, if we're going to make homemade pizza, that means we do it from scratch, including the base. So, I've already made the dough. How? I just Googled it. If I want to find something, I can do so. I actually used um, whole milk flour and a bit of dry yeast, salt, sugar, warm water and some olive oil. That's all you need to make the dough. About 400 ml of warm water, throw in about 5 grams of dry yeast and about a teaspoon or 2 teaspoons of sugar and stir that and leave about 10 minutes. Then throw in about 400 grams of plain flour and about two tablespoons of olive oil and some salt in there. Mix it all in, knead it, cover it with plastic, give it about an hour and a half, and then you've got your dough ready to go. Hmm, that's fine, oh, that brings that, that runs as well. I'm all about living your best, but I'm all about real, and by keeping it real is having real ingredients. Nothing in a can, nothing in a packet, everything fresh. Okay, so we know what's going into our tummy. So, Spanish onions, tomatoes, rucola, which is like lettuce, cheese, olives, got some nice pizza base um, sauce, some fennel. So there you go, but you can be as creative as you like, you can put whatever on there as you please. Have some fun. By doing this, at least you know what's going on your pizza and you know what you're actually eating, but keep it as fresh as possible and you find that you won't feel as bloat at the end, but most importantly, have some fun, people. Well, I'm gonna get stuck into it, do some work, and I'm gonna pause the video and we're gonna come back once we'll see the base all done. I'll see you soon. Got the, gonna roll out the pizza, throw a bit of flour on there, and just roll it out and just have fun. Here we go, gonna roll it out. If you like it thick or thin, how you want it, Okay, wow, it's come out quite good actually. Quite proud. Something like making your own pizza. Okay. Base is ready and ready to go. Nice and thin, whole milk. Now, it's the fun part. Be creative. Let yourself go. Be someone else. No, just kidding. I get excited and not make food. Alright, first of all, it's a pizza base. God, that smells nice, it's garlic in there. So just get a few dabs, just throw it in there, like so, and just twirl it around, okay? See, all through there, right to the edges. So it's very good, always get right to the edges so you can get nice flavor, okay? Water. I'm going to throw some onions first. Some nice spinach onions. Walk right through there. Olives. I'm scared. I'm going to throw some real tomatoes. So, some chili, some garlic, some fennel, there we go, I'm going to throw some cheese, there's a bit of cheese there as well, and then some rucola. And there you have it. The King's Kitchen does it again with homemade pizza. Guess what's in the oven? The pizzas. And they smell delicious and they're ready. Okay, here we go. Grand finale. <laughs> 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 
No, and I haven't been drinking either. It's about, you know, I'm very passionate. Okay. First one. Oh, look at that. Let's whack one. Well, there you go. Homemade pizza, Jeez. guys. Keep it real, make your own pizzas, have some fun, get the kids involved. Most importantly, guess what? We're gonna tuck into this, and that way, we keep on living our best lives. Until then, I'll see you next time. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, when you're smiling, when you're smiling, for the whole world. Smiles at you, smiles at you, and when you're laughing, when you're laughing, when you're laughing, when you're laughing.